Game of Thrones prequel House of the Dragons and Lord of the Rings prequel Rings of Power. Both are released almost at the same time. One is working wonders while the other is feeling like a dumpster fire. Which is which? I'm pretty sure you know. And if not, watch this video, you would know that. Now Game of Thrones is House of Dragons tells a story about the Targaryens 200 years before the birth of Daenerys Targaryen and, and Rings of Power wanna tell the story about Middle Earth during the second age. I'm not pretty sure about the ages because I have not read either of the books. I'm, I have not read the, the source material for these two series either. So it's my first time experience and so far I can say one thing that is for sure. House of Dragons got a great story while Rings of Power is kinda meh. Now, Rings of Power is getting a lot of hit on Twitter, Facebook and almost all other sites. But Game of Thrones, the reception is mixed. Sometimes positive, sometimes not so positive, but not as bad as Rings of Power. Now, if you compare the two franchises, both take place in a medieval fantastical worlds with different sects of people working together to fight for or fight against some other sects of people, so they are kinda similar. And yes, there are differences, but that's not what we are here for. So why is it that the House of Dragons working? Now if you watch the very first episode of House of Dragons, you can see that they are mocking the patriarchy but that is done in order to tell the story. But Rings of Power wanna mock the patriarchy because the writers, directors or someone in the crew has some mentality or thought process I can say. Not everything is bad for Rings of Power cause the cinematography is pretty good and there are some shots which looks absolutely amazing. There are some shots in the movie which you can take screenshot and put it on your computer or phone's wallpaper and it will look amazing. But all the CG and no story is not gonna hold up cause while watching House of the Dragons you can see that there are huge dragons and people riding the dragons are completely CG and green screen elements. So sometimes with the budget of a TV show they have some not so good moments but the story is so compelling and intriguing you tend to ignore the fact that CG sometimes looks iffy. After watching even one episode episode you can realize that in house of dragons there are some characters you are going to love there are some characters you are going to love to head but rings of power all you can feel about any character is Galadriel. Or no, she is now called Galadriel. You can say her however the fuck you want. Rings of Power's main storytelling or any type of reason of existence was to show that Galadriel is pretty fucking awesome. She is badass. She is liked by everyone. She is best at everything she does. While House of the Dragons wanna tell the story of how some female characters has to go through in the middle ages ages or the medieval age. You can feel for them because in the first episode a certain character dies and the guy might be responsible for her death and, and it makes you feel and think about it. But Rings of Power doesn't have those type of moments. If you wanna get woke, try telling it in a way that people wouldn't feel it. it's jarring. After watching House of Dragons episode 1, I felt the urge to watch the second episode and after watching that, I felt the urge to watch the third. And now I really wanna watch the whole series and I'm waiting for it every week. But Rings of Power. I already watched two episodes and I don't feel any urge to watch the third one. I might watch it because I would get content for YouTube but other than that, I have no interest in it. And now based off what Amazon's saying, Rings of Power got 25 million people watching it worldwide? Well. I mean, that sounds kinda iffy. Most of my friends were pretty interested when House of Dragons came out. Everyone was calling me whether I watched it or not and they wanted to discuss about what they like or not. But Rings of Power just came out and went away under my radar and most of my friends didn't care. And still, based off of Amazon, Rings of Power did way too good to be true. Am I doubting them? Well, definitely not. Jeff got money but doesn't necessarily mean he's going to pay the critics. 